11 more bodies, including eight personnel of Territorial Army, recovered from Tupul landslide of Norne district. Their toll rises to 19, 44 people still missing. Manipur observes National Doctors' Day. Health Director Dr. K. Razo appeals to refrain from destroying hospital properties upon death of patients. Hindu devotees of Manipur celebrate Ratha Yatra's festival locally known as Kang, religious procession of Lord Zagamat. Manipur joins nation in observing 73rd Van Mahasav 2022 by carrying out mass tree plantation drives in various districts. Manipur reports four new positive cases of COVID-19 out of 70 samples tested in past 24 hours. State active COVID-19 cases rise to 24. And in the at 17,070 new COVID-19 cases, above 14,000 recoveries and 23 deaths in 24 hours. COVID cases rise above 1,7,000. And nationwide ban on single-use plastic items comes into effect from today. Offenders to attract fine or a jail term or both. Hello and welcome to Impact News for watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Kausam Shalira. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the news in details. The toll of Tupul landslide has reached 19. 11 more bodies have been recovered so far. The major landslide occurred in the wee hours yesterday near the construction site of Tupul railway station along the Marang Ching Hill Lock in Nani district. Out of the 11 bodies found today, eight of them are personnel of the 107 Territorial Army posted at the railway construction camp. One of them is a railway staff and two are VAC laborers. Combined team of the Indian Army, Assam Rifles, NDRF, SDRF, District Administration and locals have been joining carry out search and rescue operation at the incident site since yesterday. The 11 bodies were fished out from the bed of the Isai River during the course of search operation. It is learned that Army, Assam Rifles, NDRF and SDRF teams are trying to recover the remaining 44 bodies by using 20 pro cranes and other equipments. It may be mentioned that the dead plate landslide or the construction site of Tupul railway station buried alive 81 people out of which 18 people are rescued alive yesterday. Search team also recovered two guns from the Ize River bed today. Intense search operation is still going till the time of filing this report. Earlier in the day, Chief Minister Nautamon Biren visited the landslide site at Tupul Railway Station at the Marang Ching Range near Mokwam Village in Doni District today. Speaking on the sideline, and Biren termed the incident as the biggest landslide ever to happen in Manipur. He assured that search and rescue operations have been intensified and 80 more dead bodies were recovered today by a team of SDRF, NDRF and other volunteers. He said that the team hopes to complete the rescue and search operation in a couple of days. Works Minister Gobindas Kontosam, Relief and Disaster Minister, Awangbong Niumai, Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Minister Kasim Basum, and MLA Lauren Bandrameshwar accompanied the same minister. We have rescued uh, 23 army personnel around uh, 23. And the civilian also. Civilian were not uh, will not be able to recover. Only one body has been recovered. And uh, in the uh, army personnel, eight yesterday we recovered. And uh, today another eight has recovered. This is total seventy. But we could not identify who belongs, uh, army or civilian. But eight bodies have been recovered. More in the uh, personnel, SDRF personnel, in the, the army personnel, and uh, even from the state force, we are deploying and uh, we are trying to. Uh, rescue all the bodies, all the old people. Yes, that is possible. 
Jirimount Imak Women Association of Kanglaipok, Jimkwok International Peace and Social Advancement, Ipsa Jibam Brands and Kanglaipok Student Association, KSA Jiribam Brands Council, have condoled the casualties of the pulled landslide through a joint video release. Collective of Civil Society Organization Kangli Park Manipur, consisting of the Ipsa Pandam, Ipak Akom Loop, CLK Kangla Mai, KIL, and KSD today, conveyed heartfelt condolence to victims of landslide that happened in Noni through a press note. Collective of Civil Society Organization Kangli Park Manipur also expressed solidarity to the Territorial Army, VSC workers, and villages of the area. Sif Sena Manipur State Unit condoled the over the loss of lives, including civilians and Territorial Army personnel, in the Tupult landslide. The party announced of providing every possible assistance to landslide affected people by party members visiting the landslide site. Speaking to media today at the Sif Sena Manipur State Unit office in Babupura, Imphal, Party President M. Tombi stressed that natural calamities like landslide and other frequently occur as a result of deforestation in hilly areas and man made floods occur due to blocked drains in valley area. Tombi said the government is working towards keeping a check on the issue. History is on upgrading Tongzai Marilt or Old Kasa Road as the national highway and replacing the Imphal Jiribam Road. And for the purpose, the party will submit a memorandum to Union Minister of Road and Highways Nitin Gadkari. Tombi is sure to give all cooperation to the Siv Sena led coalition government in Maharashtra so that the government could complete its full term of governance. <laughs> Mapamadudai <laughs> Janata Dalt United ZDU Manipur State Unit expresses condolence and concerns for all those who have lost their lives and suffered injuries in the massive landslide incident at Marangjing Range near Makwam Village, Jubul Railway Station. Party press note acknowledges the efforts of the Indian Army, NDRF, SDRF and Manipur government who are carrying out intense rescue operation and relief work in landslide side. A team of CPIM also inspected the condition of the Tupul landslide Tupul today. CPI State Secretary El Soten Kumar expresses deepest condolences over the loss of many lives in the massive landslide and shared the griefs of the bureau families. On the other hand, CPIM condemns bomb attack by unidentified miscreants at CPIM Kerala State Committee Office in AKZ in Centre. In the weather updates, India Meteorological Department, Regional Meteorological Center Guwahati today forecasted medium to heavy rainfall in both hills and valley of Manipur in the next two days. As of for as for today, most places of Tamenglong, Senapati and Ukril district will receive rainfall. Most places of Kampopi, Imphal West, Kamzong, None, Technopol, Chandult, Jurshampur and Furzal district may also experience rainfall today. Some places of the infault is Jiribam, Bisnupur, Thobalt and Kachin district may also get rainfall. On July 2, most places of the Menglong, Senapati, Ukrul, Chandilt and Jurchampo district will receive rainfall. Rainfall may also occur at more, uh, most places of Kampukpi, Infault West, Kamzong, Jiribam, Noni, Bisnupur, Thobal, Kachin, Technopult and Furjol district tomorrow. Some places of the infault is district may also receive rain tomorrow. As far as ICER Agrometeorological Unit, Plumfield, Manipur, record a maximum temperature of 31.5 degrees Celsius and minimum of 23.4 degrees Celsius.
Health Director Dr. Kirazo urges people not to destroy hospital properties in the event of death of patients. He was speaking at the National Doctors' Day, programmed health at Health Directorate in Lamfeldbad today. Dr. Razo stressed that destruction of hospital properties and equipment is loss for both hospitals and public. While highlighting doctors' crucial role in saving lives, the health director said doctors and health workers who played pivotal role during COVID-19 pandemic will be felicitated with certificates in acknowledgement of their invaluable contributions. It may be mentioned that National Doctors' Day is celebrated every year since 1991 in honor of former Chief Minister of the West Bengal, Dr. Bidan Chandra Roy, who was also a physician and has made tremendous contribution in health sector of the country. <laughs> Biba, Ningzang Biba, Masim Dang Dakar Oi, Masim Misunderstanding Labadagini, Pog Podon of the Badagini, I was eight times again. Regional Institute of Medical Sciences Rims in fault also observed Doctors' Day today at its general OPD complex. Speaking on the occasion, Director of the RIMS Professor A. Santa emphasized that RIMS Infault is advancing due to support provided by its staff and the people of the state. The management of the institute is working towards improving the relation between patient parties and doctors. Professor Santa further added that the institute is planning to install facilities for CT scan in both OPD and casualty sections, and work to install a world-class distilled X-ray at the casualty section of the institute has also been started. He also is sure to build lift in OPD casualty in operations theater and also to provide same facilities to students of the institute. Finally, he sought the support of people in building a good relationship between patient party and doctors. Appreciation certificates were also distributed to doctors and staffs of the institute to acknowledge the role played by them. MS Professor of Dreams and Sanjeev Rims Dean Academic Professor Bugen, doctors and staffs attended the program. ปราจากิตมกอนาวิตมกตนวายนะบิตมกตะคุยเคชวัลตี้ทรอมาเซ็นเตอร์มกตะคุยนิสิตีสแกนทํานี้อะดุกิมตุงตะคุยนะเลท
95 ICU bed, dialysis ki wadam yawni, labor room yawni, OT ohum yawgani, a lot of isolation bed su yawgadoin, and the diagnostic floors yawgadoin, G plus 5 misa gadoin, masi akhoi sabam loin pi hire mafam loin work kandokolore. One of the most important festivals of Hindus, Ratha Yatra, or locally known as Kank, was celebrated across the valley of Manipur with gaiety and religious fervor today. The festival, which started on the second day of Manipur lunar month of Ingent, will continue for 10 days. The main event of the Ratha Yatra festival was held at the Sri Sri Govindazi Temple, in fact, in the presence of titular king of Manipur, Kaisen Basana Zauba. As part of the festival, a large number of people, both young and old, thronged the temple premises to offer prayers to Lord Jagnath, Brother Balabhadra and Sister Subhadra. After conducting necessary rituals at the Sri Sri Govindaji Temple, idols of the three deities were put on a huge decorated chariot, which was pulled by several devotees till the front of City Convention Center in Mfa. Devotees from across the state offered assorted fruits, sweets, arati, and prayers to the idols of Zaganath, Balabhadra, and Subhadra as the carriage was passing pulled along the road. The carriage later headed back to Sri Sri Govindasi Temple. Another important highlight of Ratha Zetra festival was that after the carriage of Sri Sri Govindasi Temple returned back to the temple, pulling of smaller carriages started in localities across the valley. Skon Manipur celebrated Ratiyata festival to with religious fervor today. Starting early morning, priests at the temple offered obscenced or arati to Lord Jagannath Balavadra and Subhadra at the Skon temple in Ghari Imphal. Devotees turned out at Skol temple and performed Mahaprasadam Seva. Later, idols of the three deities were put on a decorated chariot. And devotees, along with priests, pulled the carriage, signing Krishna along with the Tridim Road. Several people from different different parts of Manipur were seen visiting the Iskon Temple to offer prayers alongside taking part in pulling the huge decorated carriage. Another highlight of the Ratha Yatra festival was residents along the Tridim Road offering sweets and fruits to the deities as the carriage was pulled through its route. It is worth mentioning that Iskond has been celebrating Ratha Yatra in a low key on the backdrop of COVID-19 pandemic since the past around two years. However, this year the festival is celebrated, maintaining the visual vibe, and the use uh, a number of people taking part in the festival has increased this time. Ratha Yatra King Festival was celebrated in many places of the state today. People offered prayers to Deity Zagannath, his elder brother Balabhadra and his sister Subhadra as they set out on the street sitting on the well-decorated carriers. Skon Tamori also organized Gang Festival today by taking out Holy Carriot procession from Nepali Basti through Forest Gate and to Mori Gate No. 2. People also thronged the street to participate and offer prayers to Lord Jagannath during the Rathaya, the celebration organized by Mori Gora Sampradai Mahadal. Ajaba, the Ozaguru, Sina Tambiram Bada, 
जगन्नाथ प्रभु ना कांगी रथ तों लेकाय कोई ना यूथ यूथ लंबी सोरोक चलप मफम फतब नकारात्मक नेगेटिव इनर्जी मैम अब मान मांगन भी डिस्ट्रोय तब लेबाक प्रजाद तीली मफम अफव शांति की पॉजिटिव इनर्जी सन्दोपीदना मैम से तंदू ले पीबी है अहल वाखल से वाखलों यूमर तौजने Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly Thoksom Sate Brita greets people of Manipur on the occasion of Ratha Yatra or the Kang Festival. He wishes development, prosperity and harmony among communities. Minister for Forest Environment and Climate Change DH Biswas today launched 73rd Van Mahotsav 2022 at Harao Road in presence of BCCF and HOFF Aditya Kumar Joshi Kampopi Forest Division organized the celebration of forests The event saw mass participation from village authority leaders and villagers of the nearby villages like Hararo, Yimnam Kunau and Sinam Youth Club Students Unions. The celebration will continue till the first week of July. Around 13,000 saplings will be planted across Kampopi Division at Tapokuki, Toklang Atongba, Waichongt Range, Songkhumt Village, Lucky Joy. The plantation will continue for the next couple of months. Forest Minister Thongam Biswasit and villagers began seven-day mass tree plantation program began today at Gualtabi area of Kamen Lot Gualtabi Reserve Forest today. Central Forest Division organized a drive to mark 73rd Van Mahotsav. Several saplings were planted at Nomai Jing Range in Andro Sadar East Forest Range in Hengang and at the western side of Langol Reserve Forest under Central Forest Division. BCCF AK Josie Central Forest Division DFO RK Amarjit Kampopi Forest Division DFO Ganesh were among others who attended the event held on the team let us plant a tree let us plant a hole The 73rd Van Mahasab Festival of Forest was celebrated in Tamai, the Menglong district today. Water Resources and Relief, Manas, Relief Disaster Management Minister Awang Bao Niumai graced the event organized by Rens Forest Officer and in their army, Tamai Battalion. Rens Forest Officer Tamai, K.H. Johnson and top officers of Tamai Battalion took part in the program. More than 3,000 saplings were planted to mark the day. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Ong Bong Lim Lai urged people to refrain from deforestation and zoom cultivation and called for concerted effort to conserve the environment. Jiribam Forest Division also observed the 73rd Van Mahasav by planting saplings on the long roadside of Lamlan Kult area 87 Bartlian CRPF. Utah Salt Campus, 7th IRB Campus, and around uh, Glapur Primary School. Members of Old Jiribam United Club Association, Azuka Yafa Lamsing Club, and Lamlen Kul took part in the plantation event. Chandel Forest Division organized 73rd Van Mahasav at Mantri Pantha Village Ground, Modi Village, and Chapi Karong Chapi Molven Village in Chandel District today. Launching the Mass Tree Plantation Drive, Chandel MLA, SS always encourages everyone to plant at least one tree in a year. Chandel DCSP Forest Department officials, members of Royal Riders Manipur, and students attended the program. Kamjong Forest Division also marked the 73rd Van Mahasav today at Siki Pung Village, which is situated under Kamjong Forest Division. As a part of the occasion, Kamjong District Deputy Commissioner Rens Peter and District Forest Officer S. W. Susha led in planting around 3,000 saplings in the village. Relevant officials also gave awareness to locals on the benefits of planting saplings and conserving forest lands during the program.
Technopol Forest Division marked the 73rd Van Mahasab celebration today at Lighting Mino Village of Technopol District. 1,000 saplings were planted around the Lighting Mino Village playground and around Kairak Mawang Kilok area during the event. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Conservator of Forest V. L. Rui Gulai said 15,000 saplings are targeted to plant in Technopol District as a part of Van Mahasab. Manipur added four new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 70 samples tested in the last 24 hours. There is neither dead or recovered cases. Active cases rise to 24 as, a part, uh, as, the, as part of the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room. Coronavirus has affected 1,37,274 people and claimed 2,120 lives in the state so far. Total recovered cases are 135,130. Recovery rate reduces to 98.44 percent. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Impact News. Welcome to Heritage Convent Higher Secondary Section. Affiliated to Gosim, Heritage is entrusted with competent and dynamic teachers, maximum choice of elective subjects, prestigious scholarship. We provide the best infrastructure, digital boot in every classroom, well-equipped lab, heritage customized tablet, PowerPoint-assisted lectures, regular snap tests, special doubt clearing sessions, e-resources through school apps, science demonstrations, debate, quiz, music, dance, and many more. So, come and be a part of Heritage. For more information, Information, log on to www.heritageconvent.com. of success. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, Unaco School, Excellence in Education. Presto personalized wonders, Imphal the Nauna Hangdok Cheri, Heidi Basida, personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba po lam sing, mafamasi da pangigani, na si maglang sing birao, tilagras enterprises, Presto, Tangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong, Imphal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Prime Welcome back after the break of watching Primetime English Bulletin. India added 17,070 new COVID-19 cases, 13,827 recoveries and 39 deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active case load stands at 1,4,555. Total recoveries are 4 crore 28,22,493. Recovery rate stands at 98.55 percent. Death toll reaches 5,25,116, over 197 crores 61 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine had been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 55 crore 28 lakhs 23,000 people. It has claimed above 63 lakhs 58,000 people and recoveries are above 52 crore 80 lakhs 44,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 34 lakhs 1,000 in the world. Epoch Teng Bank Looped and Jennings Blood Bank and Transfusion Unit jointly held voluntary blood donation camp at Jennings Blood Bank today to the 5th Foundation Day of Epoch Teng Bank Looped on July 9. About 50 volunteers donated blood in the game. Speaking on the occasion, Wang Kei MLA and also a member of the Epoch Teng Bank Club, TH Arun Kumar expressed happiness that many young people have come forward to donate their blood. 
Manipur University and SSL today organized the mega blood donation camp at Centenary Hall of Manipur University. 93 volunteers donated blood during the game, said the praise not by the organization. Dengue cases are reported in border town Tomore in continuation of dengue screening on Moray. Around 77 people were tested out of the 18 people have been confirmed of dengue cases. Amid the situation, surveillance activities and preventive measures have been taken in many villages of Moray. It may be mentioned that a child from Tolhound village under Moray subdivision died after the minor was tested dengue positive in mid-June last, last mid-June. Following the incident, RIMS VRDL teams along with Technopol District, DMO, AMO have been taking preventive measures in Chongfai Village, Tonghang Village, D Konongfai Village and Chano Village. On the other hand, under the aegis of Manipur State and NVD DCP team, District Malaria Officer and Assistant Malaria Officer let in carrying out fogging drive starting yesterday in villages where dengue cases are reported. A team of the Infaltis District Police Commando along with two special teams including women police personnel and volunteers of the other recovered heroin powder and WY tablet from a woman yesterday. Arrested woman is 35 years old Nazia, wife of Muhammad Nasiri Khan from Khetri Chandamlekai in the Infaltis District. On receiving a reliable intel, the police team led by SI T. Lenin, along with ASI Muhammad Yunus Khan and a special team in Fault East, with executive magistrate carried out search at Nazir's house in Khetri Chandam Lekai. The team seized 7 grams of Tyrian powder, 32 WY tablets during the raid. The arrested woman, along with the seized drugs, has been handed over to Porampat Police Station. Mapi Council President K.C. Romeo appeals to put state first before personal interest. He was speaking on the sidelines of 22nd Foundation Day observance of Manipur Peace and Integrity Mapi Council at Manipur Press Club today. Attendees paid tribute to the 12 women who took out naked protests, demanding withdrawal of the UPSPA in front of Kangla Fort on July 15, 2014. Manipurgi Kasin, Koya Sin Matunga, Chacharaga, Pundariba, Sing Me Prup is in an housing at the Amadia Topa, Prup is in housing, Awana Tarba, Kul Sing Miam Sing, Adu the Matin Pangza Bamadi, Makoki Pogdam Kia, Purla Aga, Langakta, Pogdam Zaraga, Kul Sing Dugi, Sokot Torang, Amadi Economy, Hiram Kudimakta, Matin Pang and with the Sadun Laksabani Adubu, Asum Laba, Emotion Integration, Tanjan Jariba, Sum Pongzang, Asigi Marata, Matam Kregi Mamang the Yona, Kangu Purk Karana, Tokai, Tanning Bagi Wakalunda, Equebo Wakal Sitadu Oga, I have a Wakal. In a manga taraga, I give Kanglu, I give sing, I give fruit, I give loan, Hiba, Adumba Tongan Tongan Bokalunda, Kui Kanglu Prup Nawa Kolon Saga Pirpose, Kumapi Council, you make it the Gi, Yamanuaja Day. Protection and Preservation Committee Manipur PPCM demanded Manipur government to properly restore the deplorable National Highway No. 37, Infal Jiribam Road and Irang Bridge, which is built on the Irang River. Taking part in an inspection visit along the Infaljiri Road, being initiated by PPCM, Convener Publicity Committee of PPCM, like Kram Jayanta said, 90% of the Jiri Infaljiri Road is a bad shape. He accomplished that the construction style of the Iran Bridge, which is currently under renovation like tem contemporary architectural design, thereby drawing the attention of government towards renovating the bridge in the latest design maintaining quality work. Third state level crop insurance week kick started today at the Directorate of the Agriculture Complex in Imphal. Commissioner of the Agriculture Department, Mungzum Joy, flag off a special information education and communication IEC event which will convey public awareness on crop insurance as a part of the event which will continue till July 7. Agriculture Department Director Ning Tausam Gorzendro, Additional Director Toning Nangpan Mei, and top officials of the Agriculture Department took part in the opening program. 
Speaking on the sideline, Joy Manton did. Prime Minister Kishan Bhima Yosna was initiated marking the 75th year of the Indian independence and to support the farmers in the time of craft infestation and during natural calamities by compensating farmers for their loss. Joy assured that Agriculture Department will strive for letting local farmers aware of PMKBY and benefiting them under the scheme through the crop insurance week. The commissioner said the EC IEC event which flag off will cover all the districts of Manipur. Ibudot Nauti Kont Pakhangba Managing Committee today saw the intervention of the government and relevant authorities as farmers couldn't assess their agricultural lands in Maite Lango due to obstruction of road which leads to 8.650 acres of the agricultural land by the newly shifted homeowners in the area. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, Secretary of the Committee Maibam Sadananda Samananda said various construction activities which started in 2018 and establishment of new homes in the area have impeded the roads leading to the agricultural field. And farmers have been facing problems during ploughing and harvesting times. Complaints have also been submitted to relevant authorities in November last year in this regard. However, they have not received any help as of now. Baibam Samananda drew the attention of government to help in resolving the issue by introducing an amicable solution. Chandal MLA SS All is today distributed fertilizers to farmers of the constituency in the presence of Chandal SP. The first consignment of 1,000 bags of fertilizers were handed over to farmers from differently, different villages of the constituency at government fixed price on production of the Adar cards. MLA Oli said the remaining farmers will receive their share of fertilizers within one week. Nauria Pakhang Lakpa MLA SKB today distributed high yielding variety paddy seeds uh, to about 60 farmer beneficiaries of the constituency. District Agriculture Officer Infault West and Sub Divisional Agriculture Officer Infault West jointly organized carried out the event at Chumtang Sports Complex in Langtaval uh, Puramakong. One of the beneficiaries from Maitram Awang, K.H. Joy, expressed confidence that the move to will contribute in increasing rice yield in the state. Of the Adakshya of the Infalt West and Jilla Parishad member of 6 Port Sambam Jilla Parishad, Lystrom Bobi, today distributed urea fertilizers to farmers residing under Jilla Parishad for the first phase. The distribution program was organized jointly with Agriculture Department at Kongampot Mayelekai today. Speaking on the sideline, Lystrom Bobi said that as a part of government's initiative to provide fertilizers in time, she communicated with Agriculture Department to carry out the fertilizer distribution to farmers who submitted necessary documents. She also assured to put in her best level effort to provide fertilizers to the farmers of 6 Potsambam Jila Parishad. Renowned Manipuri filmmaker Romy Meite is among three winners of film competition based on the human rights organized by National Human Rights Commission of India. The award was presented at the opening session of the National Conference on Human Rights in India, Culture and Philosophy, jointly organized by National Human Rights Commission and Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts at the Plenary Hall of Vigyan Vaban, New Delhi on Thursday. The opening session of the conference, inaugurated by Union Home Minister Amit Sa, was also attended by NHRC Chairperson Justice Arun Mishra, Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts Board of Trustee Members, Round Bahadurai, Commission Members Justice M.M. Kumar, Dr. D.M. Mule, and Razib Jain, and several legal experts. The award carries rupees 2 lakh in cash, certificate, and memento age. Delighted on winning the award, Romy Meti said that his film curfew had light sufferings of innocent people and society due to prolonged imposition of Armed Forces Special Power Act, APSPA, in Manipur, and he appreciated National Human Rights Commission for honoring his efforts in exposing ill effects of APSPA imposition in a narrative film medium. 
Romy Maitet was named among three winners of the film competition for his filmed curfew, while two other winners are Sandeep from Hyderabad and Nilesh from Maharashtra. Six-day workshop come production of Dulok Duman kicks off today at Prabhu Achoba Mandal to end Hairok Bazaar. Academy for Cultural Research and Training Nepra Company Makalaikai, Thawal District organized a program under the aegis of Sangit Natak Academy, New Delhi. National Secretary of Delhi Saiti Academy, Manipur Gimnam Mahendra Kumar, President of Sangit Kala Bhavant, Hairok Mayang Bamt Iboyaima, and representatives of Nat Sangritan Punguru Kundrakpong Maningo attended the event. Radiant Group of Companies today observed its fourth Foundation Day at Kwakitil to Akamlika. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman and Managing Director of Radiant Group of Companies, Nepram Romeo said that the company plans to further want e-scooter one household campaign as part of the ongoing green manipur campaign which is electric vehicles personnel of manipur sdrf has carried out relief works for a flood affected villages in various parts of assam kasar district the SDRF team today distributed relief items to villagers of Silchar 7th Bebekananda Road Village and villagers who needed medical attention were also taken out using motorized boat for treatment. They were also given free medicines. The SDRF team will also carry out rescue and relief operations in the flood affected areas of Assam, including those villages inhabited by Manipuri community who are currently facing drinking water shortages. Bent on to manufacture, import, stocking, distribution, sales and use of identified single-use plastic items has come into force from today across the country. Single-use plastic are those items that are used only once and discarded. The items covered under the band include earbuds with plastic sticks, plastic stick for balance, plastic flags, candy sticks, ice cream stick, polystyrene thermo thermocold for decoration, plastic plates, plastic cups, plastic glasses, and plastic cutlery. Ministry of the Environment, Forest and Climate Change said that national and state level controlled rooms will be set up for checking illegal manufacture, import, stocking, distribution, sales, and use of band single for the effective enforcement of four bands. Now the sports news. In first, Basanta Kumar Singh Memorial 5th AS site under 35th KZ football tournament being held at Poloi Turf Ground located at Singarang Tespur in Infaltes, Ngamba FC Team A Hengang defeated Bung FC by 7 war score line. In another match, Endivo SS Tras Hiai FC teamed Luang Sangbam 6 goals in 1. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Eleven more bodies, including eight personnel of Territorial Army, recovered from Tupult landslide of Noni District. Their toll rises to 1944 people still missing.
Manipur observes National Doctors' Day. Health Director Dr. K. Razo appeals to refrain from destroying hospital properties upon death of patients. Hindu devotees of Manipur celebrate Ratayata festival, locally known as Kang, religious procession of Lord Zagannath. Manipur joins nation and observing 73rd Van Mahasav 2022 by carrying out mass tree plantation drives in various districts. Manipur reports four new positive cases of COVID-19 out of 70 samples tested in the past 24 hours. State active COVID cases rises to 29. India adds 17,070 new COVID-19 cases, above 14,000 recoveries and 23 deaths in 24 hours. COVID cases rises above 17,000. And nationwide ban on single-use plastic items comes to in fact from today, offenders to attract fine or jail term for both. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipur Bulletin. For more news, you can follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe. Royal Academy of Science Wang Kai Kongba, affiliated to Bosem, Kosem, admission opens for Class 11 Science 2022-23. Chahi Kudingi Higher Secondary Examination Da Mahirui Masinyam Na Pasto Bata Natana, IAS, MPS, Doctor, Engineer, 